y'all. We are going to answer a very important question for y'all. What do frogs and popcorn have in common? Well, they're some of our favorite things and we have been full-time RVing for just over two and a half years and we're going to talk about things that we have used, as Matthew likes to say, use the stuffing out of them. <laughs> <laughs> we really have. Not only is this a rolling earthquake, but we tend to use stuff until it's not usable anymore. So everything that we're showing you is stuff that we've really tested mm -hmm. out. And for us, it works. And by the way, none of these are sponsored. Nope. We do have affiliate links, yes. but none of these are sponsored. No official sponsors here, y'all. So what's first? So one of our favorite things that has gotten us to basically um live in the middle of nowhere or which we love or on the top of a mountain out in the mm -hmm. middle of the desert is our batteries they are awesome all right y'all this is our battery bay now this is really important when you're rving in the cold you want to have batteries you can trust something you can rely on you know it's going to work is it going to charge is it going to discharge we have used these well below freezing in fact these will charge and discharge all the way to zero degrees because of the battery manufacturer, the way they made it. And just to be sure, we have a battery blanket, custom made battery blanket, just this size underneath here. And it comes on when it's cold and it turns off when it's not needed. These batteries are also, they're Elevation brand batteries. Now these are made specifically for RVing. You know, RVing is like an earthquake going down the road, especially when you're like us and you go off road so these things are made specifically for that. That's why we got them. And we got them from a place called Solar Energy Systems of Indiana. Now, if you want one of these, we're not, this is not sponsored. They're not paying us to do this, except we have an affiliate link. And with the affiliate link comes a little love for y'all. We have a discount code. Don't forget the discount code. If you click on our affiliate link, grab that discount code, you'll save a bunch of money. And on top of saving some money, at least for now, I know that they're running a deal where you can get free shipping to anywhere in the lower 48 states. Now, you know shipping something this size would normally be pricey. So free shipping and using our discount code, saving a bunch of money. Again, we're not sponsored, but it's our affiliate link. And we have six of these bad boys. In fact, I wish we had a few more, honestly, because we're kind of power hungry. These are great. They even sell them, these are 100 amp hours each. They sell them at 120 amp hours each in the same physical size. It doesn't take up any more room. All right, let's head inside. All right, y'all, this is the coolest thing to have in your RV and we've had it since day one. We actually got it before we started. It kind of looks like an alien spaceship, <laughs> but this thing collapses down. So yeah. this is how you store it. And if you're in an RV, you need something that doesn't take mm -hmm. up much room, and it doesn't weigh anything either. And you're probably thinking, well, what contraption, oh, it's kind of suction cup, suction cuppy, <laughs> is this? Let me pop it back out for y'all. What do we use this for? Popcorn. Now, mm -hmm. you've probably seen a hundred different popcorn makers. The reason that we love this one, this is what we've used. We were looking for something that's easy to clean, something that's lightweight, and something that doesn't take up much room. So we cook popcorn in here with no oil. That's right, all we do is take the kernels and there's a little line in there. All we do is take the kernels, you see them? There's a little line in there and that's it. That's it, magic's over. We just put the lid on, pop it in the microwave. The lid comes off and you are ready to go. For all you people at home, this is good smelling popcorn, but we're not done yet. So you can either eat the popcorn like this, which is still really good, or if you're like me and you just need a little bit more either sweet or salty or something else, bam! You get your traditional plastic bowl out, real fancy stuff, and you pour the popcorn in there and then play switcheroo in the kitchen. Bye. That's right. You remember how we said we don't want to add any oil in this? It's really easy to clean and you don't have to, but now you can control how much oil you add. It cooks dry, but we can use one of these and this is also a great thing. It's compact, it's lightweight, it doesn't take any batteries or CO2 cartridge or anything. 
great for an RV or great for a traveler. Here's what it is. This pumps up and down and charges it up, and then it's just a little spray nozzle. And you can put, we use extra virgin olive oil, you can use avocado oil, you can even use some kind of butter flavored oil, whatever you want, as healthy as you want to go or as yummy as you want to go. And then you'll pour the popcorn in here. Pour it in there. And it doesn't make hardly a mess in there either. No. It's very easy to clean. Because there's no oil in here. Just another bonus. So you're just going to spray a little bit of oil on top of this, and then here comes the good part. The good part, y'all. These. Now, we use Colonel Seasons. Mm -hmm. You can use anything, but if you want to use these, they're either in our Amazon store, or you can pick them up at your local grocery store. Walmart carries these. You can get them in onesie twosie, or you can get them in a whole big pack for your convenience on Amazon. And they're not just the savory flavors. You can get the sweet flavors too, which I like. This is nacho cheddar, but yeah, you can get kettle corn, which is kind of sweet and salty. You can get caramel. You can get a whole bunch of different stuff. And you can add as much or as little as you want to. You can make it very healthy and still have wildly different flavors every single day. We've been using this since we first started RVing. We had yeah, it before we started. Yeah, yeah. It was one of our biggest items that we wanted immediately. I know, priorities, right? <laughs> and um, who wants to see Matthew catch popcorn in his mouth? Oh, goodness. Not the beard. <laughs> Open it. <laughs> That's my face. <laughs> <sighs> That's my eye. Yay. Yay! It's not the thrower, it's the catcher. <laughs> sure. And if you're like us, well, obviously we chose kind of the semi-clear one. Yes. But we know plenty, plenty of people with RVs and even houses, even when we had a sticks and bricks, and they had like an accent wall or their kitchen would be a different color or they have a certain colored furniture item that they like to match everything with, they have more colors in these than they do in the rainbow. Yes. Test me to see if I'm wrong. Go to the Amazon store and you'll see when you click on that item, it'll bring you to a page that has all sorts of colors. So whatever color you want, they probably have something close to it. Y'all have been asking and we have finally delivered. <laughs> We've got some merchandise, y'all. We've got some t-shirts and hats. New stuff is always coming on the way. Right. We're designing new stuff, testing out new stuff. Now check out this hat, y'all. This is the first generation, the very first one we designed. This is our official BDR hat. And as Sean would tell you, they come in different colors. She's fond of that. And different colors for these. And this is not the only hat we have. Show them yours. And here's mine. My, ours is just the white logo. It's a simple one. white logo. And these are unisex hats. Mm -hmm. And if Sean will turn around, do you see the buckle right here? You can see it on mine too. There's a buckle on the back of it. It's not that cheap plastic stuff where you snap it back and forth. Uh, uh. This is a quality buckle where you can slide it back and forth and you can make it bigger or smaller. These are the same essential hats, the basic mm -hmm. stock hats that we're wearing. And my head's a little bit bigger than Sean's is, as you can probably tell. So it fits both of us with room to spare. And then next we have t-shirts that come in different colors as well and uh, different styles. Now we have more than we're showing you right here. Right. You just got to go to brokendreamsreborn.com forward slash shop. And if you can't remember that, it'll be in the show description below. All of these links will be in the description below. But for this one, we have RV Life on the front. And then bam, our logo on the back. Big, beautiful logo. And like we said, we have other shirts with other sayings and stuff. And what else do we have coming down the road? And then mine has, if you want the logo on the front, then I have a smaller logo on the front. But then on the back, we have different sayings. I think we have two or three mm -hmm. shirts on the website. This says life, life is, is good. good. And we have a couple other sayings on the website too. And now this isn't it. We're also developing other things, but like we always tell you, we got to try stuff out mm -hmm. first. Not just shirts and hats either, not just wearables. It's exciting stuff. We're excited about yeah. it. We're not just saying that. So you got to stick around for more, but we have a good assortment. We even have a long sleeve t-shirt. If it's a little cold where you're at, but you don't want a full blown sweater, we have long sleeve t-shirts oh, that Sean right. designed. Yeah, I and I have it hanging in the closet right now, which I love long sleeve mm -hmm. shirts. We do have a sizing chart right. by the products 
on our website, brokendreamsreborn.com forward slash shop. Go to the product you want and there should be a sizing chart. So check that out if you want to be extra sure to make sure you order the correct size. We're so excited to finally have merch and y'all been asking for it and we finally have our website too. So we hope y'all check that out as well. I mean, who wouldn't want this? Come on. It's a great <laughs> BDR hat. Yes. And another one of our favorite things, which we've had from the very beginning, is this. Now this is a label maker. Now the reason this is important is, for example, we have slides and I'll be darned if I can remember which slide is which. We have three slides and one, two, and three. The third one is the bedroom I know, but the first two I always get messed up. So we have them labeled. We also go out to our, what is it? Our uh, wet bay where we pull the valves in order to open gray tank one, gray tank two, or the black tank. You do not want to accidentally open the black tank if you meant to only open the gray tank for the kitchen or the bathroom. Which I've done. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it. So we label <laughs> things. Um, we have our hard drives. We have many removable hard drives because as you know, we make videos. So we have a lot of data. We label them. You can label anything that you want to. Sky's the limit. And with this, it's either battery powered or you can plug it in. And it's so simple. I just use a keypad, hit print, labels are cool. Yep, you see, let me, see, let me show you. You don't need scissors or anything, labels are cool. You see that? And how does that stick? How you stick this is, you peel off the back, oh here we go. He does this, y'all. I don't. <laughs> you peel off the back and then... Stick it to your shirt to show that it sticks. Here, you do it. And then, look, y'all. Labels are cool. That Yay. is the name. <laughs> <laughs> so if you forget your name, you can put it on your shirt, but seriously. A couple of other tips about that, y'all. We also label our bins in the bay because you don't, if you're looking for your electrical oh, yeah. bin or your fresh water bin, you don't want to pull out the sewer bin. Now, I tend to put the bins back because I usually do that yes. in the same place, but I tell you what, I have to label them because I will forget. You would think it'd be impossible. Two and a half years more than that of RVing and of pulling out the same bins from the same place and I still forget, like I told you, I forget which is slide one and which is slide two. I Even standing here, I can't tell you. I don't know, I forget. Even on the gray tanks outside, it just says gray tank one and gray tank two. That's how it is on the inside too. So we put, you know, which tank is the bath and which tank is the yep. kitchen because a lot of people have two gray tanks and you kind of want to know which one is full that you might need to empty. Yep. And they have all sorts of fonts on here, all sorts of, you can make a bigger print, smaller print, you can double stack top and bottom. I'm telling you, if you like to organize, which that, I'm not normally that organized, but organizing in a small space is just so much easier. And two other things. The first thing is if you have a bunch of spices, which we have them in our drawer, mm -hmm. Matthew hasn't got around to doing it yet, but he's going to like on a spice, just put it on the top. I'm going to do this. I have not done it yet because I have so much going on, but this is going to make it so much easier. <laughs> Because my spice drawer, I call it mine because I use it mostly. He's when I cook. pull it out, there are so many spices mm -hmm. and I have to pull it out and read it and say, what the heck is this? Uh-uh. I'm going to label it. And that was Sean's idea. And that yeah. way I just look down. Oh, this is garlic parmesan. Simple. Because when he's cooking, y'all, he literally probably will pull out 10 mm -hmm. spices before he finds the one he wants. So. That's the truth. And then another tip for this label maker is you can um, put the height of your RV and the total length of your RV and yes. truck together and just stick it up there on your windshield on the inside so you can see. Right up at the very top mm -hmm. of your windshield where it's not going to obstruct your view, you can put it just the same place yeah. you put a state park <laughs> sticker. So... That's a great idea, too, because it's important, mm -hmm. especially as you're driving right. around maybe California, maybe the East Coast, maybe you're going through a tunnel. You need to know how long it is how, and how tall it is, especially under them bridges. So as we said, this is in our Amazon store, and the link for that is going to be down below. This is the exact one we've had for over two and a half years. We've used the same one the whole time, so we can vouch for this. For us, this works. All right. 
right, y'all, another favorite thing of ours that we've had, we've had this from day one, is this. And you're like, big deal, it's a hanger, but they're <laughs> felt hangers. And why is that a big deal? Because when you live in a rolling earthquake, you really don't want to have to redesign your whole closet every time you get somewhere. And they're not just felt. Maybe you can tell on screen. I don't know if you can. Look how skinny these are. Oh, yeah. They don't take up as much room. They're not the big bulky plastic ones. These are skinny and they're felt and it's not going to fall. It's not likely to fall off. So you can fit a lot of stuff in your closet. Here's a short sleeve shirt. Step back, Matthew. I'm spinning it around and it's still on the hanger. And let me try to do it faster. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is like you're going down the road. <laughs> and it's not. Yeah, it makes that noise too. And it's not <laughs> falling off. But let me show you all something that might be a little bit heavier. This is a little bit heavier. Let me see if I can swing it. Without, I don't want it to like go on the floor. See how it just kind of grips? Does it fall? We've had these from the yeah. very beginning and we really do love them because they work. They work for us. And this thing, y'all, we go off road. We do a lot of boondocking, mm -hmm. at least in this part of the country where we're out west. A lot of boondocking. And let me tell you about boondocking mm -hmm. roads. They're barely roads. So when I tell you that they're not gonna fall off the hangar, that's from our own experience of going over potholes and through ditches and all kinds of craziness. These hangers, we've never once had to rehang up something that I yeah. can remember. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. So, so we really highly recommend these, especially if you're in an RV that moves constantly. And in our Amazon <laughs> store, we have the rose gold and which obviously it's not real rose gold right. or these will be worth a fortune <laughs> right. but it's the rose gold colored with black but they do have different color combinations if you're stylish and you want it to look just so they have other colors just click on this and it'll bring you to the seller page and then they'll have all sorts of options on there what's in stock how long it takes to ship all of that stuff all right y'all are you ready for this <laughs> yay Frog tags. You even say frog tags on the back. Aren't these fancy? And they're no. stylish. Look, it's pink all the way down. Now, if you don't know, if you haven't seen any of our videos, let me tell you the reason behind this. That just feels wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the reason behind these is because we had some waterproof, waterproof rain jackets. Mm -hmm. You know, Amazon said, oh, these are waterproof. No, they weren't because they were water absorbent. They were like a towel like a kitchen towel that's what they did they didn't repel it they absorbed it like a sponge so we asked a bunch of our community hey what do you use what do you think they said frog, frog togs. togs so we got these frog togs so we've had them in the rain and they yeah. work really really well they've never done anything mm -hmm. except repel water and you can just even tell by the way it's made, by the way it's stitched, by the lining on the inside, more than I could show you, all the fittings, all the features on it, it's so much better than just this thing that they made to look like a jacket. Huh? -uh. They really did think of everything with this, and so we trust them, and it, we've had them for a few months. Yeah, we got them in May, and now it's November, because we did not want to recommend it to mm -hmm. y'all until we got to uh, use it a lot, and we've gotten to use it a lot, they're very lightweight. They're easy to hang off your backpack to take with you when you're hiking. Yeah, we scrunch them up. I scrunch them up real tight, and then I yeah. feed it through a couple of strings on the backpack and just hang them off. They don't weigh anything. They fit really well. It also has a hood because nobody wants, you know, their hat wet or their hair wet. So I like rain jackets that provide a hood because we have seen rain jackets that don't provide a hood. They zip up really nice. They just feel nice, and they're just great to have. And I also heard um, you can um, also, I think they have frog tog pants and stuff, but we haven't gotten into that, but we really <laughs> like the jacket. All right, as you can see, I'm all ready for the weather. This is the way they look, and you can see how it's overlapped and everything. See, there's the zipper. You're not going to get any water coming in through here. We love these things, and as Sean said, we're not going to recommend these until we try them, or we weren't going to. So we've had them for months, and now Sean's going to show you hers. Hers is for females, but it's the same thing. You can see it on the back. Frog togs turn around. You can see that it 
hides yeah. the zipper and if you're really cold I think they come in different colors you'll see on um, mm -hmm. our Amazon link they come in different colors now even if you have different arm sizes not everybody's arms are the same size they got velcro here and then you can make it really tight or you can make it really loose it depends on how much room you need it's really custom fit if you don't want any water getting in here just wrap it up real tight or maybe you're wearing this in winter time or something you don't want any cold getting in here frog togs is really what you need if you want to stay dry available in our amazon store right now all right y'all another favorite thing i think we had this almost at the beginning too is you want mm -hmm. your rv to smell nice especially around the holidays or even if you're not feeling well and you've got allergies or your sinuses are stopped up, this is our essential oil diffuser. Now, let me tell you why we went with this. Um, one of the reasons is we love like all those scented candles and mm -hmm. stuff, but they have a lot of things in them that I don't necessarily want going into my system. So this is something that you control 100% what goes in here. And let me show you. The inside of this beautiful thing, that's all it is. And you remove this lid, you fill it up to the water line, and then you can add a few drops of your favorite essential oil. Or any other kind of scented oil will probably work as well. I'm just biased. We like essential oils. Mm -hmm. In fact, we have a bunch of them. Um, so what we do is like, right, these days we might use peppermint or we could use um, clove, cinnamon, any combination. Eucalyptus. Now we use eucalyptus. Sometimes when our sinuses get really mm -hmm. stuffed up, instead of putting like Vicks Ave all over your face <laughs> and your neck and everything's a mess, we just put it in here, y'all, and it makes everything smell like eucalyptus yeah. and it'll open everything up. It's so wonderful. And then for Christmas time or the holidays, then you can mix the Christmas scents because a lot of people will, what, put a pot on the stove or get their mm -hmm. crock pot out and they'll cut up like fresh oranges or put clove sticks in and stuff like that. But this is all contained to where you can just use um, the little drops of the essential oils and stuff. And another thing, back to what he was saying about the candles, you know, candles can be very, maybe not safe in an RV oh, yeah. because Dangerous. of the flame. You know, if it accidentally gets knocked over, if you might have a pet or... Uh, a child playing in the RV or even an adult. I mean, the RV is so small you can easily bump into stuff. Plus, it leaves like I remember from living in a sticks and bricks and using candles, a lot of soot, black uh -huh. soot and stuff everywhere. This does not use that. No, this doesn't. I think it uses ultrasonic waves. It doesn't even heat it up in order to get the right. steam. I, I call it steam. It's really just a mist to come out the top. Yeah. And you can get it in multiple patterns. We like the tree pattern, mm -hmm. I think, on our store. I think there's three different patterns. Once yeah. you click on it, it'll bring you to the Amazon page. And my favorite thing about it is it changes colors. Not only yes. is it an essential oil maker, but eh, it changes colors. So it makes it kind of, I Fantastic. just like it. It's like a little light and it changes colors and it plugs in. To and it's the kind of calming. Outlet. Yeah. And you were talking about like orange and clove and stuff. We yeah. actually have orange essential oil. We have clove. We have cinnamon. We have pine. Did you know you can get pine essential oil right from the pine tree? So and cedar too, I think. Yeah, cedar. Mm -hmm. You can get frankincense. You can get all sorts of stuff. I'm not crazy about frankincense. I think it's kind of weird. But if that's your thing, then, or as Sean likes to say, if that's your jam, then they've got it. So y'all, if you've seen something that you like, that you want for yourself or maybe to buy a gift for an RV or a traveler who you know or just anybody check out the description below we're gonna have links to all of these most of them are through Amazon uh, some of them are through other websites like ours brokendreamsreborn.com so just check it out and if you have any questions at all feel free to comment below ask us all the questions you need to and we'll answer <laughs> And if you already have all of these items, then just go check out our Amazon store because we have a ton more items on there and we use every single one of them that we have listed in our Amazon store. That's right. We will never put anything on our Amazon store or on merchandise on our website that we ourselves will not approve of and will not use. Happy shopping! <laughs>